We're going to create the 3D sphere a little bit differently to how we did the cube and square using the Create 3D Shape script. We're going to use one of the plugins that comes with After Effects for the sphere and it's called CC Sphere. So if you start typing the name of a plugin, it pops up automatically. But first we need to output the texture that we're going to put onto that sphere. So turn off all circles BW and all triangles sphere BW. And when you've got this texture on screen, go to composition, save frame as file. And like we've done before, this is going to give us a Photoshop file and we're going to put it into our graphics folder and we're going to call it sphere texture. Save that and render it and then import it back in from the graphics folder. Sphere texture, just as a footage layer is fine. And drop that into main. Then bring in CC sphere and place it onto that layer. And you can turn on your all circles BW and all triangles sphere BW as well. And now we want to make a few adjustments here. So let's make the radius 150. Let's turn the light height to 100. And we're going to offset the rotation Y. And that's going to give us our spin. So let's grab the scale property from one of our previous 3D objects. From the null, I'll just grab the scale and I'll paste that into CC sphere. I'll just place it where I think it's going to come in for now. Remember, we do a bit of fine tuning with this, so we're going to do the same thing again with the 3D sphere. And I'm going to solo that. And RAM preview. Let's make the scale 100. So just to add a little bit of interest, I might treat CC Sphere a little bit differently to how I've treated the others. So I might leave it as 24 frames for the first part of the animation, but then go 48 frames for the second part. So I'm going to go from 1104 on my timeline to 12. 03, and that's going to give me another 24 frames and then I'm going to get into my rotation so I'm going to make it end at positive 270 and start at minus 90 and then in the middle just so I've got some good spin on it I'll push it to 45 so let's go in and have a look at the curves for this so let me just keyframe those rotation parameters. So going from minus 90 to 45 to 270. Okay. Now let's start with F9 just to get some curves going and then we'll go in and tweak those. So let's go full screen so we can have a good look. We don't want it to stop in the middle. So we, we know that we need to Keep it moving. And this is all just tweaking the curves. We did quite a bit of this earlier on in the project. Okay, let's see how we go with this. Do a RAM preview. Okay, and just a little bit of tweaking. I won't do too much because I'll let you guys tweak this to your heart's content. Okay, there we go. Back to our curves. So we want to spin out quite quickly.
Okay, and for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave that curve there. But if you're doing this for client work or for a personal project, I'd probably tweak it a little bit more just to get it perfect. But curves do take time just tweaking and perfecting them. So I'd encourage you to continue playing with those curves and just get them right. 